So now we've got a surprise congressional J6 hearing set, and we've got a former attorney general for the United States talking about Donald Trump's criminal intent. Let's talk about both of those things, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Well, I'm sure you've heard by now that we're getting a surprise congressional January 6th hearing. It was just announced and it's set on the calendar for Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Can I tell you, friends, that congressional hearings usually don't get set at the spur of the moment like that. But here's what the New York Times just reported. January 6th panel abruptly sets Tuesday hearing on recently obtained evidence. And that article begins, The House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol on Monday abruptly scheduled a hearing for Tuesday afternoon to hear what the panel called recently obtained evidence and take witness testimony. And that hearing is scheduled for 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, friends, I'm not going to speculate about what we might hear or who we might hear it from, but I have a feeling it's going to be important and enlightening. But I want to touch on one other subject just briefly, because an attorney general for the United States of America just talked about his view of Donald Trump's criminal intent. No, not Attorney General Merrick Garland, but former Attorney General Eric Holder my old boss. And when I say my old boss, I don't mean when he was attorney general and I was a federal prosecutor in DC. He was many levels above me. Um, I mean as my direct boss, because long before he was attorney general, he was the United States attorney for the District of Columbia, the office that I worked in for decades. But consider this, Eric Holder, was first appointed as a judge in Washington, D.C. by President Ronald Reagan in the 80s. He was then made the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia and Deputy Attorney General, the number two person at the Department of Justice by Bill Clinton. And then, of course, he was made the Attorney General for the United States by President Obama. But he is somebody who has always had respect on both sides of the aisle. And here is what former Attorney General Eric Holder recently tweeted about Donald Trump's corrupt intent. Stop the talk that it's hard to prove Trump's intent. The proof is abundant. Among a few things, Georgia call, DOJ interaction, the lie, and just leave it to me. There's more. Ask yourself, would that defense be successful in front of a jury? The notion that it would be is laughable. And friends, you know, if you tune into these Daily Justice Matters videos or you watch me on MSNBC, I've been screaming from the rooftops about Donald Trump's criminal intent, and the mountain of evidence we have to prove it. Now, no, I was never the deputy attorney general or the attorney general. I wasn't the deputy assistant attorney general to the attorney general's deputy assistant. I wasn't any of those muckety-muck positions. I was just a guy who went into court for 30 years and proved criminal intent, and I did it with a hell of a lot less evidence than we have against Donald Trump. And when my old boss, Eric Holder, says if you try to persuade a jury that Donald Trump's intent was innocent all along, the jury would laugh that defense out of court. That's why all we need to hold Donald Trump accountable for his crimes is an indictment and to have a competent prosecutor and the Department of Justice is full of competent prosecutors, a competent prosecutor to plant 
her feet in the well of a court, talk to 12 people in a jury box, present the evidence of Donald Trump's criminal intent, and a jury will convict. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.